Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So in this video, we're gonna try to trim down some brad nails to make them shorter, and we'll see if they'll work. You may be asking, why would you want to do that? And let's just say that you're working on a project and you need some shorter nails, but you don't need a whole box, but you have a box of longer nails. So why not try to trim these down and see if they'll work? So these nails that I have, they're inch and three quarters, and I'm gonna try to trim them down to about five eighths, between five eighths and an inch. And if you notice, the tops of these, they have a bevel to it, and I'm sure that's to help them go in the wood easier. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna to try to take some tin snips and cut these, and we'll see if we actually need to put that bevel back on, or will it work without it. So with the marker, I drew a line from the top down three quarters of an inch, and I'm just gonna take my tin snips and see if it will cut. Yeah, they're just gonna fall apart on me. It's too bad. I was hoping that would work. So tin snips are not gonna work. The metal these are made from are, are a little bit too tough. So my next plan is to use an angle grinder with a cutoff wheel, and we'll try that. I was hoping these would work because this is something that a lot of people have in their toolbox and it doesn't take any power. Not a lot of people carry an angle grinder with them everywhere they go, but I have to resort to that, so let's give it a try. And I'm just gonna pinch this in the vise to hold it. There, that should hold it securely while I cut it. That's not looking very hopeful. Yeesh. They get so hot that the glue is starting to melt. I think I have to try to keep it cool. Well, that's a real mess. Well, they're just all falling apart. What a joke. So the tin snips won't work because the metal is too tough. The angle grinder won't work because it melts the glue that holds the nails together. So this is my last attempt. I sandwiched the brad nails in between two pieces of pine, and then I'm gonna use my jigsaw with a metal cutting blade to cut the nails off. Hopefully this works, because I want this to be an interesting video. <laughs> Okay, let's give this a try. Okay, that looks pretty crude. Let's see what this looks like. Okay, well they're in pieces, but some are stuck together. I'm gonna take my hammer to this and see if I can nail them flat because they're kind of all bent and wonky. This might work. All right, let's see if they'll fit. Okay, that's looking pretty good. It closes and they fit. Let's see if it shoots. First, let's try some pine. Yeah, it works. Okay, it works. I am actually surprised that actually works. Shooting into pine is perfectly fine. Now I have a piece of hard maple. We'll try that. All right, let's see how this does on the hard maple. It does just fine. Wow, would you look at that? So, yeah, it does work, but should you do it? If you had to, if you were in a pinch and the stores were closed and you needed shorter nails at that moment and you happened to have a jigsaw with a metal cutting blade in it, sure, you could do it, but really, don't be a cheap ass. Go buy a box of brad nails, like one inch nails. I think they're like 15 bucks. Just do it. This is not worth the trouble. So that is it for this video, guys. I hope you found it entertaining and educational. I never thought I would see myself as being an educator. That's kind of weird. Anyways, so if you're new to this channel, I encourage you to hit that subscribe button and hit that notification bell so you never miss when I upload a new video. And like always, we'll see you in the next one.